Well, how are you great, wonderful, amazing, outstanding, beautiful people doing on this evening? We received something in the mail today that uh, I was planning on waiting at least another two, three weeks to make a video on. And the video might come out then, though. But I was waiting because I wanted it to warm up a little bit. Because, well, technically we're not really into warm weather yet. But something came in the mail today. And... Uh, Troy, he has decided that we are not only going to put it together, but we are going to write it tonight. I got a Himaway, H-I-M-I-W-A-Y, long range e-bike. Says it goes 80 miles on a charge, 100,000 plus rider's choice, 40% more range, and that's just reading off the box. It's an e-bike that is a fat tire bike, which I think he's going to like a lot about that. <laughs> I'm going to let him put it together. Um, it's a true testament. If a little brat child, teenager can put it together, then anybody should be able to put it together. It's a really cool color. I'm, I'm digging it's that gray. That's pretty. It looks solid. It looks very solid. Now, this is a big tire, but it is like really light. Very light. It is light, light isn't it? Yeah. It's really light. Yeah. Lightweight here. Yeah, we're talking really about a pretty nice bike here. This is supposed to be a long range one. All right, we're going to continue putting this thing together and I'll get back to you here in a minute. So we got pedals, a bracket of some sort, don't know yet. Allen wrenches, screws and stuff, a, he a headlight, and um, don't know what this is yet. And then we got a manual here and more, whatever that is. So this is the owner's manual. Will that tell you how to put it together? Well, look in it and see if it does. It does. It's That's assembly a big thing. instructions. There you go. It's got zebra. <laughs> okay. Now it comes with a really nifty Allen wrench set. Here, let me see that, Troy. And it seems to be working pretty nice putting it together. Um, we're going to use just that. That's what it comes for. That's what it comes with tools, and that's what we're going to use is the exact tools it comes with. This thing is really nice. It's exactly not what I was expecting. I was expecting something. Uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. This is a really nice bike. What do you think of that silly boy doing that? Huh? What do you think of that? <laughs> They're like, we could care less. They say that now. They start chasing you later. What do you think of that thing? <laughs> yeah. Pretty nice little bike, isn't it? How did that get here? Uh, FedEx. You sign for it? Yeah, today? half of the box was ripped open, but came by FedEx. Okay. Yes. I told him he's putting it together. I didn't even have to actually have the video done and put together till May. <laughs> and Troy's like, we're putting that thing together right now. Mm. So that's what we're doing. We're putting an e-bike together. It's pretty nice. Maybe I can actually ride my mountain bike and you might actually be able to keep up with me if I put you on that thing. Ha ha ha. I'm just saying. You're hilarious. You get kind of wore out sometimes. And you don't. Not as bad as you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Done. Pedals tight. Yeah. So it comes with that we showed you. These are all extra parts. Washers, nuts. I'm assuming these are extras. Because Troy stopped reading the instructions. Was the bike complete when you stopped reading? 
we're 100% sure that the last step was the back fender. While he's looking that up, it comes with a beautiful magnet. Yes. Got a bike on it? Yeah, it was. Was it? Yeah. It's the next day now. It took probably about a, I don't know, 30 minutes to put that thing together. And uh, we ran into some hiccups today with it once we aired the tires up. I'll explain those to you. Now, now he's going really fast. I, I'm trying to tell him how to uh, make a YouTube video here and riding back and forth in front of me to promote the bike. And um, I can't get him to go slower than 100 miles an hour. This right here controls... This number. How much assist it gives you. When you're pedaling. Or you can go all the way down to zero no and assist. there's absolutely no assist whatsoever. You're just pedaling it like an old school bike. This is the odometer and normal speed, right? Okay. Okay. And then you got a trip option here. Okay. Okay. And, and that'll you... keep track of how long you've ridden and you can reset that trip. I'm assuming so, yes. Yes. And ride time, 11 minutes. It tells you how long you've been riding. Mm -hmm. And then it has... To odometer again. Mm-hmm. Max speed Your was max speed 20, was miles, 20 an hour. miles per hour. Okay. Average speed was 12 miles an hour, and I I'm thinking that's like RPMs up here. Okay. You see, take off. You don't have to ride that fast all the time. He's a teenager, and he only knows one speed, and that's 500 miles per hour. Now the top speed when I was riding it, I took it up to 20 miles per hour. But if you're just going to use the throttle and treat it like a moped instead of like a bicycle, it's going to take you right around that uh, 18, 19 miles per hour before it comes to a woe and it doesn't go much faster. The biggest thing that I am just um, shocked at it is you can go to zero and then uh, you can uh, just pedal it like a normal bike and it's 100% doable. You don't have to have the battery power. The charge is going to differ on how long you actually uh, just use the throttle, how long, how much you need the assist. Like if you go to a level one and you're just using it as a small assist, I'm guessing you can go pretty far. Pretty far is what I'm guessing. So I'm gonna do the normal thing. I'm gonna record him going back and forth. And then I'm going to point out a few other things on the bike. We need to tighten that. That's that thing, what's making that noise. Yeah, that thing's actually pretty bright. Last night we played with it in the garage, and it's actually got a pretty bright thing to it. It's got a tail light to it. Uh, is it just flashing? I think it just blinks. Yeah, it just blinks. It's not like an actual, I hit my brakes, and it, it just blinks whenever the battery power is on. Um, the things we haven't figured out because we don't read the instructions is we just got to figure out the key. I think the key has something to do with taking the battery it. off because here's your battery i think it has locked. something to do no there's no locking Troy. i think it won't let it turn on no it has nothing to do with that i'm pretty sure it locks the battery in these are comfortable by the way people. so no one can jack your battery all right these are comfy these are kind of a they i suppose you could say leather they're wrapped like a leather but they are comfy they are really comfy the seat does go up to a tall guy status yep not just the short status. Um, the shifter is pretty nice too. You push up. I'm gonna choose the one that says don't change gears. I'm going back to the one I start on, smart Alec. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about what happened here with the fender. The back fender, we ran into some issues with it. Uh, we aired the tire up. The tires can hold up to 30 pounds of air. I aired the back tire up to 30 pounds of air and realized that's a little too bouncy for little Troy. For me it'd be just fine but when we did that the fender rubbed all right so i went just to tweak the fender a little bit to where it didn't rub and the plastic broke the plastic that goes into here it snapped right off so i ended up just taking the full fender off and i actually like it better without the fender so the shocks they can change from soft to hard so it goes like that now it can go more like that now it's hardening it that's hardening it and then like for people like my dad and stuff all right so what are some things you like about that Hemaway bike troy it's electric first of all it's easy on the legs 
Um, I like the size of the tires. It's got big beefy tires. It's got a four inch wide tire. Mm -hmm. um, I like how you can change your assist on how much. Um, I like how uh, like all the information. It has a screen which is really cool to me. It has a bunch of different options and stuff you can do. Um, it's just a solid bike. It's an aluminum alloy making it lightweight yet durable. The bike is very light but yet heavy. The back end of the bike is heavy but it's not like crazy heavy. It's like mountain bike heavy. It's like uh, I got a Huffy. It's like that heavy. It's not like um, the old steel frames. It's not that heavy. It's just a it's a uh, well it's aluminum alloy with a, 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 a motor on it. Um, it's got a low step through design frame that makes it easy for riders of all ages and ability to mount and dismount the bike. Um, the frame actually comes in all kinds of colors. You guys have to jump onto the website. Um, when it comes to the specs of the bike, um, oh here we go. The bike comes equipped with a powerful 750 watt motor providing ample power to tackle steep hills and rough terrains. The batteries used in the bike are high capacity, providing a range up to 80 miles in a single charge. Um, from the reviews I've been reading, 60 miles is a guarantee. And uh, the 80 miles, it all differs on how much you're going to um, use the bike for an assistance. Uh, it's, it's everything in here. It, it comes with, a, with an awesome little charger. They're calling this bike on uh, everything they sent me. They're calling it the Himaway Zebra. I thought it was more like the uh, a, a different model. I'm really digging it. Everything is built tough. It's built solid. We should do a country review. Take it out to the country. That's that'd be the best thing to do for you guys to take it out to the country, ride it through the fields because you can use this thing to you can throw a gun mount on it, go back to your tree stand with it, and that'd be the best thing to do. Cause it'd work great you could use the assist to get through things to where that way you're not sweating and all beat up and battered up by the time you get back through the field to your tree stand or to your box blind i like that aspect of it you really should you should take it out to the country and mess around with it a little bit i really love how easy the bike is to ride with no assist and then you flip it onto one assist one and that's all I've ever been up to is one and when I just went by there with the throttle turned back 19 miles per hour on a bicycle it's kind of scary it's faster than what you would think you're cooking I like it where are you going no I didn't get a basket you can't ride on the bike with me you will get over it I promise Did you record me coming up? Yeah. Woo! That was a tough ride, man. That was a strenuous. Uh -oh. I am completely winded. Are you going to become a muscle man riding this bicycle? Yeah, just leave it at zero and uh, you will be just fine. And you can ride it like a normal bike. That was great. I cannot wait to get this out in the country. Mm -hmm. Maybe go camping or just purely out in the country and have fun with this thing. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Wait. What? When I was going down on no assist at all, I got to 25 miles an hour. Well, look See? at you, top you big speed. old speed demon. Go top speed. Max, that's 26.3. How do you know that wasn't me? Because it was me. Oh, it could have been me. Because that was me. You want one of these bikes, go to a link that I have in the description of this video. You want to look around at other bikes that they have because they have a lot of different styles of bikes go to the link in the description of this video other than that i think i did a pretty good review pretty good tour of it and uh as time goes on i'll give you another review a little bit later on thank you him away for uh sending me this bike i kind of dig it